I, I'm not against any of that. I'm not against any method that works. He just said, I'm not against any method that works. Raise your hand if you don't think that HRT works. And could he not do HRT legally and be prescribed this from a doctor? Coach Greg, in today's video, we're going to go over John Cena's latest interview of which he's discussing whether or not he's natural or enhanced. And so Logan Paul has John Cena on his show. They talk for well over an hour, but we're going to start at 57 minutes. And at that time, he discusses whether or not he's natural. Yeah, sure. I can keep my muscular development, but how's that gonna help me do the great work that I need to do on screen? And so he says, I can keep the muscles that I've got, that's not a problem, but what I need is sleep and recovery. And so is he in fact insinuating that he has to take something? I mean, after all, he's getting older, he's perhaps 46 years of age. Does anyone actually think that you can maintain a physique as good as it was in his 20s when you're 40s? I mean, unless you're Mike O'Hearn or The Rock, perhaps, of which he has nearly as impressive physique as these guys, there's no way he could have maintained a physique as great as he is throughout all of these years. Imagine, he's traveling the world, performing, he has to train, wake up at 4.30 in the morning, probably eating chicken, broccoli, and rice. I mean, how could he maintain a physique as impressive as he is right now without using performance-enhancing drugs? You get a five-day week where you're working 15 a day, you just sleep and hopefully get two in on the weekends and manage yourself with that. And so think of it, he's working five days a week, 15 hours a day. I mean, how much time does he have to sleep to recover? And so everyone knows just how important sleep really is. If he's not getting enough quality sleep, what do you think is gonna happen to his testosterone levels? They're going to go down, yet in this interview, he states, yeah, my testosterone levels, no big deal, 840. He states he doesn't need to take anything, that he's had these levels as high as possible his entire life. How is that possible? With stress, travel, low body fat levels, injuries, everything he's sustained over the course of his life, do you really think he was able to do all of this while being 100% natural? I mean, remember that interview about 15 years ago where they interviewed John Cena and said, hey, are you natural? After all, you've been injured and you have such an incredible physique. Did you see him bodybuilding at the age of 21? Do you see the size, the fullness, the conditioning at 21 years of age? My answer to that question, have you ever used steroids, is the only thing I can say. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. And so he says, I'm 100% natural, but you'll never be able to prove that I haven't taken anything. And so, yeah, they spiced that video up. But do you really think he's going to come out and say that he's natural? You pull back a little bit more on the calories, make sure you monitor everything. That's just all that. It's not rocket science? <laughs> it's not. And so he says, you know, it's not rocket science. You just cut your calories. You just train harder than last time. You just work harder than everyone. You know, the hardest worker in the room, just like The Rock says. But is it really all that realistic to expect that people can push themselves to this extent for 30, 40 years and not lose any size and strength? He says he's not against taking steroids, peptides, SARMs, growth hormone, but he's only going to do that when his body starts to regress, when he starts to lose a little bit of strength, but he hasn't lost any yet. Really? At 46, he hasn't lost anything as of yet? Does that make sense? Do you do any of the new age uh, shit? You, you into like NAD? Do you cold plunge? Like what, what type of recovery stuff are you into? Uh, NAD, that's where I can't talk about things that have happened. Um, no, 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 that's a that's NDA. Amnesia. I love it. Do you do any of that new age stuff? You know, like cold plunging and like NAD, perhaps taking turkesterone or, you know, that product like Anamen that's in my own GO2 Max. He responds, what are you talking about? That I'm not allowed to disclose anything? That I have a contract where I specifically say I can't say anything? That's actually called an NDA. And so perhaps he does have an NDA. I mean, after all, how many favorite movie stars, WD wrestlers come out and say, hey, I'm taking this, I'm taking that. Does his counterparts do so, and namely The Rock? And so perhaps he's simply following in The Rock's footsteps. Why would he want to come out and say, oh yeah, remember when I was a wrestler? I used to take this, I used to take that. He's still an active movie star. He's still making millions of dollars. And so why would he risk it? He doing the same thing as The Rock. So what, what is, uh, what Just, is, you know, uh, you pep, pepti that? peptides, kind of like new age. Have you ever done stem cells? We, we talked about this, none of that stuff. Got it. So does anyone think that a guy as serious as John Cena, clearly he's been working out for decades, that he wouldn't know what they mean by performance enhancing drugs? You know, like peptides, stem cells, perhaps HRT. Oh, oh, you're talking about that. No, no, I haven't done any of that stuff. I'm not against it though. I, I just haven't used it myself. I, I'm not against any of that. I'm not against any method that works. He just said, I'm not against any method that works. 
raise your hand if you don't think that HRT works. And could he not do HRT legally and be prescribed this from a doctor? And so what do you think is more likely? That he always has 840 nanograms per deciliter, no matter if he's not sleeping, traveling, stressed out, and so on? Or does it make more sense that he would have those levels by consistently doing HRT day after day or week after week? One, do I need it? Mm. And two, have I exhausted all resources before it? And so he says, I'm not using anything because do I actually need it? Have I exhausted all other things I can do that are 100% natural before going that route? I would certainly think that by the age of 46, perhaps at 36, he would have reached his natural genetic potential and would have tried everything. Do you really think that John Cena at 46 is thinking, oh, there's so many things I haven't tried yet. Mm, I haven't tried that progressive overload yet. Uh, maybe I'll try Coach Greg's cookbook. If only I try his cookbook, I'm saving trying out his cookbook until I'm 50, then I'm gonna really make the gains. I'm still absolutely drug-free for life. I get my testosterone tested every every third, every every not every quarter, three times a year. Really? Well, let's see the blood work, John Cena. If you're a hundred percent natural and you want to prove it to the world, why not show us your blood work? I mean, if we see your blood work and we see suppressed LH or FSH levels, or perhaps your cholesterol is out of whack, or we can analyze all the other factors and say, does this look like the blood work of somebody who's natural, or does it look like the blood work of somebody who's enhanced? You know somebody who also has his blood work done regularly? Mike O'Hearn but yet he never shows it. And so it's one thing to get your blood work and it's another thing to show your blood work. Not saying he has to, but if he wants us to believe that he's actually natural, but if he wants the millions and millions of fans, as The Rock would say, he needs to be open, honest, and transparent and show that to everyone. Will you say your level? Do you know where you're at? Uh, eight, the last one was 840. Whoa. Damn, John, that's good. And so look at Logan Paul react. Whoa, he's almost floored. 840 nanograms per deciliter at 46 years of age on a guy that hardly gets any sleep, that's traveling, that's working such a bigger schedule. Does that actually make sense? So as a, as a 46 year old man, I'm still in a good spot. Yeah. Whoa. So I don't, I don't need that dimension yet. Yet in comparison, guys like that John Reacher guy, am I saying his name right? He's like, oh, I trained so hard, my testosterone levels were in the toilet. He trained hard for eight months for a role in a TV series, yet John Cena can do this since he was a teenager? I mean, which is it, people? If this Reacher guy needed testosterone, HRT, in order to do his movie role, how is it that John Cena can do everything for decades and never need anything? Now, time is undefeated, and I love working out. So when that drops to be critical, that discussion will take place. And so John says, hey, father time is undefeated. And so when my testosterone levels drop to a critical level, I'm then and only then going to use HRT. What's a critical level, 839? He's at 840 right now. How do you decide if it's critical? He's saying, well, if I don't lose size and strength, then I don't need it. Do you not think he's lost size and strength? To me, it looks like he was definitely on performance enhancing drugs when he was younger. And he looks like he's perhaps on something a little bit lower now. Compare my ultimate physique from perhaps five to 10 years ago to my physique right now. I clearly was abusing performance enhancing drugs back then, but I'm not a natural right now, I'm on HRT. But there's clearly a difference. And when you look at John Cena's physique, it doesn't look as impressive right now as it did back then. There is some regression, but it doesn't look 100% natural. Compare him to The Rock, to Mike O'Hearn. Do you really think think that that looks natural? If John Cena looks like this natural, and we assume that perhaps the Liver King, Michael Hearn, The Rock are not natural, how can he look that good in comparison? It just makes no sense. It will only take place if that drops below critical and so does everything else. Mm. So if testosterone drops below critical and I still maintain strength, gains, health, wellness, sex drive, then you don't need it. You can't maintain it. He said, father time doesn't beat anyone. Last I checked, no one is peaking at 46. If you haven't peaked at 46, it means you did something wrong when you're younger. And so I don't believe it's possible that he still has years left in the tank. Father time, it's already come and go. News flash, John Cena, you've gone up the hill and you're on the way down. Right now, proper warm up for me, getting in there and going as hard as I can, knowing when I have to pull back. And so he says right now, I just do a proper warm up. I go in and train harder than last time. I know when to take time off when I'm feeling overtrained. And so I don't need testosterone. I'm not buying it. I just don't believe it. I'm not sure if any of you out there believe John Cena, but hey, I'm just telling you what I think. I'm giving you my opinion, telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. You want to hear, hey, your favorite WWE superstars, all of them are 100% natural, that you can improve forever so long as you train properly. I'm sorry, everyone. Once you're in your 40s, there's no way you're going to look as good at that age as you did when you're younger. It's just not going to happen. But I don't need any equipment to bring with me. Tough to bring a cold plunge with you when you fly from San Diego to Puerto Rico 
Rico and then to Nashville and back to LA. And so he says, hey, I'm not going to get into coal plunging using NAD and so on because hey, I travel a lot. And so why do I get into doing that if I can't do it every single day? Well, newsflash, John, coal plunges you don't need to do every day. Even an occasional coal plunge can in fact be beneficial. But I get it, I hate it, I don't do cold lunch. I'd like to do it, I tried it once. I'm too much of a pansy, can't do it. So that that's within my realm of possibility, making good health choices, staying hydrated. Did he literally just say I'm staying hydrated and point at the prime energy drink? Are you kidding me? John Cena, you could have done better. I mean, you could have at least said Perry Light, you know, from HDLT supplements, but no, he points at Prime. Why would you do that? And let's examine his chest. Look as we focus in on his nipple. Do you notice the scarring around the nipple? This is highly suspicious. It looks as though he may have had gynecomastia surgery. When you see scarring above and below the nipple, this is often indicative of a guy who's just had surgery. Just think of it. You have gyno. That's breast tissue formation under the nipple and this is a result of testosterone converting to estrogen and so you get gyno and in order to repair that the surgeon has to cut through the nipple around the edge and remove this excess tissue in the form of a gland. And so if you examine him, do you not see some scarring? I mean, is it just me? Am I the only one that sees this? And so is it in fact possible that he was using steroids, got gyno, had surgery to remove that gyno, and this is the result? And I mean, we can't be sure. Perhaps someone photoshopped these scars onto the edge of the nipple, but in my opinion, this is highly sus. Let me know in the comment section, do you believe that John Cena is natural? Do you think that he He's enhanced. I'm out here in Miami Beach, Florida. Also, if you want to maximize your gains, please visit my website. Don't forget to use code Greg to get 10% off. We got things like GO2 Max, Acti Builder, protein bars. We got protein powder, creatine, so much going on. Don't forget about the freaking cookbooks. Also, subscribe, click the bell button, do it now. Like the video if you liked it. Watch both of those two bloops. And if you got no money, it's okay. Head over to my website, giving away a free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages. We got over 300,000 newsletter subscribers become a newsletter subscriber, head over to my website, and until next time, I am out.